coming to you, but you'd better do good this Christmas, or I'm going to tell everyone about you. <laughs> I'm the ghost of Christmas present. I wonder what the ghost of Christmas past was talking about. Was it what I cooked for dinner at the Christmas party, or was it what I did with the pastor's wife after the party? Oh God! <laughs> I'm the ghost of Christmas future. Don't worry, I've seen 2021. There's a new strain of COVID that turns half the people that get it into zombies. But you're okay. Your problem was with the cooking, not with the pastor's wine. <laughs> gotcha. Plus, I figured out what we're gonna cook today so that the uh, ghost of Christmas past stops haunting you. Cheers and a happy new year. Now I know what I'm gonna cook. Eh? Let's go, let's go cook. Come on. Hello everyone and welcome to another online episode of Cooking with Chef Harry. This is the holiday season. Kids are gonna be at home, friends and family are gonna come around, and you'll be sitting there thinking, what am I gonna cook? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna show you how to make the Mexican quinoa burger. Totally vegetarian, with all the flavors of Mexico, and it's so easy, you're going to be wondering why did I think of that before? Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go! Four ingredients. We got a cup of uh, water, Belaco of course, half a cup of quinoa seeds, a half a cup of shredded carrots, one big uh, potato mashed and boiled, half a cup of uh, breadcrumbs, barbecue sauce, guacamole, diced uh, bell pepper, diced onion, a tablespoon of garlic, some uh, salsa, this is crushed tortilla chips, uh, chopped coriander, a tablespoon of oregano, a tablespoon of taco spice, uh, seasoning that is, and some salt. Of course, we got burger bread, which I've toasted the inside already, and a couple of slices of cheese. Now, Let's start making our quinoa. I got my pan on low flame. Add in your one cup of water. Half a cup of quinoa seeds. Some salt. Stir it. Remember for every half a cup of quinoa seeds you add a cup of water. Now, let that cook till the water totally evaporates. All right, the water's evaporated. Put your fire off. Fluff it up a bit. <laughs> now, let that steam for about five or six minutes. Looks good. Fluff it up a bit. Now. Let this cool down, and in the meanwhile, we're going to work on our burgers. Add your potatoes, carrots, breadcrumbs, bell peppers, onions, whoa, taco seasoning, oregano. Chopped coriander, garlic. All right, now let's start mixing that up. All right, quinoa has cooled down. Let's add it to our mixture. And let's mix it again. We got a good mix here. Take one the size of your palm, roll it into a ball, make it smooth, no cracks. And put it on a plate, just like that. All right, looks good. 
we got three balls out of half a cup of quinoa. Now let's form them into burgers. Take one and you shape it into a patty. Or if you're like me, you use a patty maker, which I got, so let's use it. Alrighty, I got this here. You could put grease proof paper, press it down, cover it, take your cover, put it right in there, and press. Press, 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 press. That should do it. Now, what have we got here? Let's start grilling. I got a pan on medium flame with about two tablespoons of olive oil already heated up. Gently slide in your burger. Now, you got to let it cook for four minutes aside. Four minutes up, gently flip it. Looks good. Add some barbecue sauce to it. Gives that zing to it. Now another four minutes. Four minutes up, gently flip it again. Perfect. Add some salsa to it. Put your slice of cheese, cover it, put the fire off, and now let's prep up the rest. All right, let's spread the guacamole on the lower side of our bread, evenly, nicely, a good bunch. Looks yummy. All right, cheese should be ready, burger should be ready. Gently lift it off the pan. Put on your bread. Ooh, hot. Crushed tacos. Gives it the crunch. Cover it. The tortilla chips. Well, let's eat. All right, let's go for it. Mmm. Amazingly awesome! The best veg burger I've ever tried. The soft potatoes, the crunchy quinoa, the guacamole, the salsa, the cheese, all explodes at one time in your mouth. Folks, you gotta try this at home. And remember, when you try, you gotta have Bell Aqua sparkling mineral water. It's the best after all. Well, folks, that's the end of another show. And I will see you in the year 2021. In the meanwhile, keep safe, keep healthy, keep happy, and ciao!